everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Allie today for dinner I'm gonna be cooking for you guys tacos de papa these are crispy uh, potato tacos and these are gonna be the ingredients you guys are gonna need to make this delicious dinner uh, tortillas you guys are gonna need onion tomato ham this here I already went ahead and I chopped it up for you guys it's very finely cut the same thing with the tomato and for the ham i use three slices of ham you guys could use a regular ham some people like using turkey ham any type of ham is okay whatever you guys choose you guys are going to need crema mexicana some fresh lettuce queso fresco salt pepper and oil and we're going to need potatoes earlier today i had my daughter get the potatoes ready for me because i was at work so i'm trying to get ahead uh what the potatoes are like this. You guys are gonna need, I have five potatoes here, but these are gonna be cooked for 20 minutes in medium heat. Make sure that you guys drain the excess water. And if they're dry by the time you guys get to them, it's much better because it makes it easier to make it into that perfect paste you guys are gonna need to make your tacos. We are gonna need to add some cooking oil onto our pan here. You guys just need a little bit. This is going to be for us to cook the tomatoes, the onion, and the ham. And that's going to be going into our potatoes afterwards. So we're going to add all this in here. Let this cook for maybe three minutes. Just a quick little saute. So this is gonna be cooking here, and I'm gonna get started on the potatoes. You guys, it's gonna be easier if you guys have a potato smasher. The potatoes are gonna be smashed down, either in a bowl or whatever keeps them in together. I'm gonna use this bowl today. And they can be a little hard to smash, but I'm gonna try my best. We're gonna take this over to our mashed potatoes and we're gonna mix it all in. You wanna make sure that your potatoes do not look like mashed potatoes. You want them to have, to be a little lumpy. You are not trying to make, a, um, you're not trying to get a smooth texture out of it because that way when you're making your, your tacos, everything's not coming out of it. So you mix all the tomato, the onion, the ham, and right now we're gonna add some queso fresco. Let me just make sure I mix everything in. You could also add your salt and your pepper. Okay. Here comes the cheese. With the cheese, I kind of, I don't know, I just pour as much as I want. I don't really have a measurement. I like cheese, and if you guys have seen my other channels, other videos, you guys know I like putting cheese on everything. We are ready to start tacos. We have our potatoes here ready, and we have our tortillas ready. One more thing that I need to tell you guys. You guys need to put the tortillas in the microwave one minute on one side, and then take them out turn them over one minute on the other side because they need to be, they, they have to be soft because we're gonna be making tacos like this. And if you guys do not put them in the microwave, they will break in half and they're not gonna be as easy to manage. See, so they'll start cracking like this. So what we need is something soft, but once they're like this, you guys have to work fast. So let's get started. One more, oh, sorry, one more thing. You guys could also use a toothpick. I showed you guys how to use a toothpick when I showed you guys the chicken taquitos. Uh, it comes in handy once again because it helps the taco from uh, all the inside from falling out. Smash it down. Toothpick optional, of course, but it helps. I am getting hungry. I'm gonna hurry so I could have dinner. Our tacos are ready. This is the way they look, and they are ready to go in the frying pan. I already have my frying pan ready. Medium heat, I just need to pour the oil in and 
make sure the whole bottom of the frying pan or the skillet is nice and covered because these are these are gonna be fried. We want them nice and crispy. Our cooking oil is pretty much ready. We're gonna put our tacos in here. These are gonna cook at I would say about a minute on each side. Let me take that out before it splashes. Okay. Once the oil is hot, guys, this is going to cook very fast, so you guys have to keep an eye on them so they don't burn. These have been cooking for about a minute and a half on medium heat. I'm going to turn them over so you guys can see the way they should look. And you want that same look on both sides before you're able to remove them out of the frying pan. Oops, I'm to turn around. Our tacos are ready. And remember, if you guys did use a toothpick, you guys have to remove it. It shouldn't be that hard. I'm gonna show you guys here how to, see, it comes out pretty easy, but do remember to take it out. Today I'm gonna to eat my tacos with, oh my goodness, my mouth is watering. I'm gonna put some crema mexicana. I'm gonna put some queso fresco. And if you guys didn't get a chance to catch my videos, I made two of the, uh, different videos, one for salsa verde and one of salsa de molcajete. And they go really, really good with these apple tacos. And we're gonna do some fresh lettuce. I'm gonna do salsa verde on this one. And I'm gonna make another one for you guys. Cause I wanna use the other salsa. Same thing. Crema. Some cheese. Salsa de molcajete. Some lettuce. And some more cheese. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe and try it at home. Let me know how you guys like it. Provecho.